So this recipe was located in pretty much the same section as the, uh, the, uh, what is, what is it called? The eggplant, the hamburger on crisp eggplant slices. Um, and this one is called the peanut butter ham round. But before we go into this recipe, I want to just say thank you so much to everybody who's left comments talking about the vegetable, condensed vegetable soup. Um, I still, I, I agree with almost all of you. No, pretty much I agree with all of you. Um, the interesting thing about the vegetable soup that I found from Campbell's though had noodles in it and I forgot to mention that in last week's, or on Tuesday's video. And so I was like, veg like noodles? Would that look weirder or would just vegetables look weird? So that's why I ended up going with Progresso even though it wasn't technically condensed. I know. But it still tasted good. So, okay. Back on to this. So I'm gonna read to you what it says. I I don't know when you would serve this. I, I don't know what for what function. Uh, it's surrounded by old fashioned country cured hams, boneless shoulder butt, it's like stuck in between all of those things. Um, so basically you, pre, you broil the slices one and a half to three fourths inch thick of the ham on both sides and then you heat the oven to 375 degrees and then you spread one tablespoon of bu peanut butter on all of it. Add enough milk to almost cover the slices. Bake about two hours or until fork tender. As milk evaporates, add more milk and then cut around slices being careful not to disturb the brown surfaces. So yeah, that's what I did. That's what I have here. So in a pan, you're going to put, well I put aluminum foil, you don't have to put aluminum foil, but you're going to put some ham rounds, as many as you'd like, in. You're going to broil it until it's nice and crispy on one side, and then you're going to go ahead and broil it on the other side. Look at all the steam, look at it cook, and you're going to put that back in. Then, once it's done, nice and crisp and dark, you're going to put one tablespoon of peanut butter on each of the ham rounds. Look at it melting. Oh, so delicious. Peanut butter and ham. Who would have thought? Uh, so you're going to go ahead and do that. You're going to put it back in the oven at 375 degrees for about two hours, but not before you put some milk in. Almost covering, but not quite. And you can refill as it evaporates. Once it's done, you're going to cut around the ham slices and then take out the hams. That's that. That's it. That's that's the recipe. You're you're welcome. Okay. Ta-da! So I already so I already took a bite of it, but let's do it on camera. See a nice big chunky piece. I'm gonna say that it's incredibly tender for being surrounded by milk. It's actually really tender. And the other note that I just realized is I think I'm gonna like anything with peanut butter. So if you put peanut butter on anything, I will like it. Don't take that a weird way. So yeah, I don't know. It's good. It's good, but I don't understand. Um, I mean, I, I. Where do you guys think that this would be best served at? I mean, it could technically be like. The, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I thought I was coming up with something and then my mind went blank. Uh, but yeah, and what would you serve beside this? Mashed potatoes? What goes with peanut butter? Lots of things do. I'll eat anything. We've already established that. But what? Mashed potatoes, corn, green beans. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to stay scrumptious. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd pair with this and w when you would serve it. Uh, and don't forget to check out all my links of my social medias and especially my Patreon. Thank you so much to all my Patreons who support me every single month. It means so much to me and I love you guys so much. So I will see you here on Sunday, hopefully, maybe. Anyways, oh, this would be good at Easter. I don't think it would, maybe, I don't know. My, my, maybe, what was that? I don't know, but maybe. Uh, Easter's on Sunday, so I'm just trying to be festive, I guess. Okay, don't forget guys to stay scrumptious. I'll see you here later.